Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here, and we're back with 115th place. It is Skull Secret Zone by Takama Tier with an average score of 46.4. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Two energy elements and two tricky tokens. Hi, this is the level's creator here. Please do not tell me the Mega Man 2 stage select is going to be the music for the entire stage. This is the level's creator here. I just wanted to preface the level with an apology. I count if it's not complete. 100% playable, though, don't worry. I wouldn't have submitted it if what I had wasn't fully functional. I had big ideas, but health issues forced me to stop working on the level for four weeks, and by then it was only days to the deadline. But I decided that what I had so far was worth submitting anyway, so here we are. Anyway, I could go on for hours about things I wanted to do. Short version, there were supposed to be two more mini stages and a boss. Sounds like you were constructing way too big of a level. Not that I'm glad you got sick for four weeks or anything. And things I did that I'm not satisfied with, but I won't. Instead, let me just say that next context, I'll make something much better. And sorry again for not being able to deliver a complete version of my level. Skull Man plus Chemical Plant. What's this? Ice Man plus Green Hill. Okay, so this is... Let's go to Ice Man plus Green Hill first. Hey, these things are working properly. I think one time we had them... What? Colored penguin. I think one time we had those where you couldn't walk into the water and it wouldn't push you up or anything. Now we actually can do that. Ah! So this is obviously a. Sonic 1 reference plus Green Hill Zone, or er, Sonic 1 reference plus uh, Iceman. Let's go this way. This way was a mistake! Thank you for the checkpoint. I'm gonna go again? No? Yes? Okay. Ah! That's ice. I'm not usually bothered by ice, it's just when I'm not prepared for the switch to ice. Those fish are starting to bother me. This is why we took the ice path first. Looking at here. 
got the uh, tricky token. I was wondering if there'd be one up there. Uh, the visuals are kind of jarring. Like, I get you're trying to mix the two between Iceman and... Uh... This isn't Iceman, by the way. Why'd you call that Iceman if that's not Iceman? I mean, maybe just the stage then was... Iceman plus Green Hill. So this is gonna be Okay, the the anyway, so what I was saying. Maybe this is just gonna be aesthetic wise Skullman plus chemical plant. And we'll just have a different boss that's not Skullman at the end of this. It's just weird to call it Skullman or weird to call it Iceman and not have Iceman. Uh the other thing I was saying is I found the visuals a little bit jarring going back and forth with Green Hill and, and the Iceman stuff. So far, this is feeling a lot more cohesive. Ooh, I like that section down there. Liquid, okay. Explodey Mines. And there's our Sonic enemies, or Mega Man enemies just recolored into Sonic enemies. Well, that's not a good transition. It's also not good checkpointing. I have to re-travel all of this. Hello. I missed that before. We're going to do a spike drop here. Oh, there should have been a checkpoint just before the spike drop. My opinion. I wasn't sure if uh, the left side, because I think the left side would have been more difficult to get to. I wasn't sure if that side was going to have the turkey token. Yeah, this, this path, it hasn't been too difficult to figure out. I'm going to do this for a second. To figure out what's, uh... What's solid and what's not, and where we're supposed to be going. Now we're in the clouds. I did not find the tricky token though. What? Why is it Sonic Man again?
I missed a tricky token. Okay, so we gotta go back in. It's gotta be the way with the Skullman path. And we're gonna turn on the mini mapper for this. I don't know why my charge shots don't work from the front. Okay, I see it on the map. It's just up ahead. So how did we miss it before then? Ah, it was another... Tricky, tricky. I was thinking of trying to go to the right there. That wouldn't have done anything, but, uh... That one was well hidden. Okay. Let's take a look at the judge comments. Nick enjoyed this one the most. Oh, he still looks like an angry pineapple. You know, I wouldn't have known it was unfinished if that sign wasn't there. That being said, while I certainly hope you feel better, I must say I'm not sure if the finished plan would have been an improvement. Level length is a tricky beast. It's up to interpretation for many people, which means for it's easy to end up too short or too long. Skull Secret Zone is slightly too brief for my liking but it's still long enough that I don't feel like I'm missing something afterwards. Given that, doubling the number of mini-stages would have been too long, which is always worse than being too short, especially with over 150 entries. I agree. I think doubling it would have been too long. I played Chemical Skull first which was pretty okay. The mad encounters tended to be a bit samey, but I found myself appreciating Skull Met and Skeleton Joe. I can't say their scenarios are anything I haven't seen, but that's because those scenarios work. Firing at you from above is a good use of those enemy types. The underwater section is in a similar boat. It doesn't feel novel, but the design is serviceable, save for the spike drop being before the checkpoint, as opposed to after. I wish sea mines were used a little more, though they had a good intro despite barely appearing. Or just not have the spike drop at all. And that's an option. Uh, there was also just at least one moto bug that just teleported. No idea why. Ice Hill was considerably more interesting. Besides the unique grass ice aesthetic, I found the water spouts and melting ice were pretty spiffy, especially when they were combined. Beyond that, the icicle intro was really clever. Using a cloud of pengies to slow us down, thus forcing us to see the icicles forming. That was really cool, and I wish more was done with them afterwards. But if Chemical Skull felt short, Ice Hill felt really short. I thought they felt about the same length. I wanted so much more, and was hoping for more from that drop. But instead it was just an abrupt Sonic Man. A crying shame, as this had a good start going. Instead of adding two more zones, I'd advise expanding these two to get more level from them. That might be easier for players to stomach on top of making a better level. Plus, you could only have three energy elements maximum. So having four with only three energy elements, that would be really weird.
Yeah, everyone's kind of saying the same thing about not doubling the length of the stage. You know what gimmick you could have from Sonic that's also in Mega Man? Springs. Granted, the springs in Mega Man don't do nearly as much as the springs in Sonic do. But still, that just made me think of that. Red Mountain Zone Act 2. Oh yeah, I would have liked some Sonic music. Yeah, those pipes from Mega Man 5 Wave Man stage, those should have been used too. Chemical Plant Man. Oh, that's why we had Sonic Man there both times, because it was Sonic. Yes, I just picked up on that.
And I'm glad that stage select music wasn't used for the whole stage. Yeah, the jumping fish were annoying. That's why I went to the Iceman one first, because I knew that would be more annoying. Hello, Drill Man. Ah, I'm having the time of my life here. All these so-called unbreakable ice prototypes are finally a real challenge for me. <laughs> I feel so powerful, I'll destroy everything. The world will be split into pieces. Er, wait, uh, actually, forget I said that last part. I'm normal. Sure thing. We'll talk to Mr. Hyper there next time, but for now, I'll take my leave. <laughs>